say Biden is swapped out with Kamala Harris, who in many of these polls is performing a little bit better than Biden, but not well enough to beat Trump. What would Harris's prospects be in those seven swing states? So this is another thing that they're looking at the data on, uh, and it's harder to predict out. So Kamala Harris has never been that popular. Uh, I guess I kind of start the clock in November 2020. So she had a bad primary that happens. Uh, mm -hmm. She the the issues that hurt her in the primary they've changed. No, nobody is talking about uh, Medicare for all right now. Uh, like even even when I talked to Bernie Sanders, he's not saying. Everyone must be for Medicare. It, it's the, the issue matrix change, but she mm -hmm. in 2020, she gets elected and her approval rating in the exit polls is bet 48, 48. She's a, a little bit less popular than Biden. She's a little yeah. bit less popular with white men who like Biden. That's the main thing. She has been an unpopular vice president. And this is this is the reasons for that are, based, are both. She never was that popular uh, and she has flopped in some high profile settings that in memorable ways republicans pushed this a bit uh they were worried about her they weren't worried about her being incredibly popular but they kind of branded her early on as the real power behind the administration when biden gives her the uh border portfolio she's she's the person who's going to deal with the influx of migrants in early 2021 they just pound her da daily over that why is she not at the border yet why is she not at the border yet why all these crossings, no one trusts her to handle the border. She she was pretty unpopular for those reasons. Uh, and she also, I said both, but I'll have a third thing. She just, she, the, the the reason she was a bad primary candidate had a lot to do with just her ability to, to uh, I don't want to be patronizing, but study up on things she doesn't know and be nimble and get be out, get out of her safety zone and, and, and take risks. She, uh, she never was very good at that. She lost a lot of staff because of mistakes she made. She's gotten better in the last year. And this has been a story of the White House package for people. But having seen her on the trail, it's true. And I think if you are inclined to not like her voice or not like her laugh, that will never change. But she is now somebody who has a few issues she's very good at talking about. She has speeches that have been murder, murder boarded and they sound pretty good. Um, she gets crowds. And people are more impressed when they see her. This is the thing that changed. I, I, I covered her in 2019. A lot of times, Democrats would come into a room and they'd be disappointed by her, but more excited by Warren or by Buddha Judge. And now they come in, they hear they her, they're pretty excited by her. She's she's gotten more popular. What would she do so, if she's the nominee? It's called it's it's complicated because right now she is not the nominee, but the premise of this election is. Uh, a Biden Harris ticket with Biden so old, lots of voters are thinking if I vote for him, maybe uh, she's going to take over at some point. They're already thinking what she will be like, uh, and she is. She does not have uh, Biden's uh, record of. She came up in a different Democratic Party. She came with California Democratic Party, uh, San Francisco Dem Democratic Party, where she was one of the more conservative, pro police politicians in that firmament, but she never had to win over very hostile <laughs> like white union workers in Sussex County like like mm -hmm. like like Biden did she just has been in a more elite space her whole career where she doesn't have um she's she's not as, as doesn't get along in quite the same way with unions it was Biden who walked a picket line not her and that was the choice they made but they could have chosen to send Vice President Harris to some picket lines, and they didn't. So she does not have some of his skills. The thing that Democrats think makes her better right now is that, that she has become a better performer. And when they want a message out there, she will deliver it and she won't screw it up. Uh, this happened over the weekend. She was at the Essence Fest in uh, in New Orleans and had a very easy interview. I can I, yeah, I send Patreon. I just I just like to be clear. Their interviews are hostile interviews where they just want you to sound good. This is an interview they wanted her to sound good. And instead of asking about Biden's age, they were leading into pro to pro the tr threat of Trump. And she delivered the Project 2025 message. The Democratic message is, whoever worried you are, Trump has a plan to destroy America if he takes over. He's going to ban abortion. He's going to ban the abort abortion pill. Uh, he's going to do the biggest deportation in American history. He's going to destroy the economy with terror. She just did that. She like, delivered that message. And so Democrats have said, are now in a position uh, where they think she is not a good, as good a communicator as some of our, our, our guys. She has not won 
working class voters like Gretchen Whitmer or Josh Shapiro did very recently. Um, they, they don't win them like Democrats did 20 years ago, but they do better than her. But she can just deliver a message. And if she's the nominee, the contrast would be liberal Democrat who conservatives would say is the most liberal nominee in history. I think they said about Barack Obama previously. Um, and she will be able to, they think, just be a normal Democrat and run against Donald Trump's mistakes. So Donald Trump will give a speech and he'll say some goofy things or he'll trail off. She would be a good contrast to that. That's what they think. I think it's still complicated because of how she spent three years working with Joe Biden. And she based some questions about was she lying to us about how on the ball he was. But that's their theory. For all of her weaknesses, yeah. she's just going to be a normal Democrat. Like if, we, if they swapped in a random Iowa state senator and just said, can you deliver the message that Biden, uh, that Trump is dangerous and Project 2025 is bad? They could probably do it. And Joe Biden has not been able to. Hey, thanks for watching that clip from our show, Just Asking Questions. You can watch another clip here or the full episode here. And please subscribe to Reason's YouTube channel and the Just Asking Questions podcast feed for notifications when we post new episodes every Thursday.